Russian murderer pardoned and released after only three months fighting in Ukraine. In August 2021, a young mother of two, Anna Koshulko, a resident of Primoye near Vladivostok in Russia's Far East, was beaten, stabbed and strangled in a garage by another local, Georgi Polivaiko. According to the Kiev Post, according to the news reports, at the time immediately after committing the murder, Palivaiko stole the girl's car and her mobile phone, which he threw away, then went with friends to swim in the sea. When they asked where the car came from, he said it was his mother's. The killer was arrested on the same day, but not before. He had rammed the police car and injured one of the officers trying to detain him. He was sentenced to 24 years imprisonment in June 2022 for murder. As reported on the Telegram channel of the Vladivostok News Channel, News.vl and the independent Russian news site, The Insider, Kashulka's husband Alexander received a letter from the Regional Federal Penitentiary Service on October the 31st, 2023, informing him that Povilaiko had been paroled four days earlier after signing a contract with the Ministry of Defense to serve in Putin's special military operation in Ukraine. Just over a year into his sentence, for Alexander Kashulko, even worse news came in early January when neighbors said, they saw Povilaiko in the street and asked the victim's husband how the killer had been released and apparently pardoned only three months after his initial release from custody. The reason for Povilaiko's return may be because he was wounded or has other health issues, but to be pardoned after three months' service and to return unannounced underlines the illogical way Putin's catch-and-release pardon system is implemented.